Specifications for AMD's Ryzen 5000G Seizan Zen 3 desktop APUs have leaked out, confirming three upcoming models. The AMD Ryzen 5000G family will be direct replacement to the Zen 2 powered Ryzen 4000G Renoir family, which was launched last year for the OEM segment and Pro only flavors. Now, the AMD Ryzen 5000G Seizan desktop APU family will be featuring the brand new Zen 3 cores that have already made their debut on the Ryzen Mainstream, Ryzen Mobility, and the Epic server platforms. The family will consist of three processors, which include the Ryzen 7 5700G, the Ryzen 5 5600G, and the Ryzen 3 5400G. The AMD Ryzen 7 5700G will be the flagship offering within the lineup, and it will feature eight cores and 16 threads. The clock speeds are reported at 3.8 gigahertz base and a 4.6 gigahertz boost, and the CPU will carry a total of 16 megabytes of L3 cache and four megabytes of L2 cache with the TDP set at 65 watts. The APU will also carry integrated GPU with Vega 8 CPUs or 512 stream processors running at a clock speed of around 2100 megahertz. The CPU should retail around the $350 to $400 US mark, and the AMD Ryzen 5 5600G will be the 6 core and 12 thread offering within the lineup, and the APU will come with a base clock of 3.9 gigahertz and a boost clock of 4.4 gigahertz. The CPU will also get 16 megabytes of L3 cache and 3 megabytes of L2 cache. The exact Vega iGPU configuration within the Ryzen 5 5600G is currently unknown, but the TDP will remain set at 65 watts. And lastly, we have the AMD Ryzen 3 5300G, which will be a standard 4 core and 8 thread APU. The chip will feature a base clock speeds of 4 GHz and a boost clock of 4.2 GHz. The APU would carry 8 MB of L3 cache and 2 MB of L2 cache. The Vega iGPU configuration is also unknown for this chip, but the TDP is going to be set at 65 watts. Now you can expect the Ryzen 5 5600G to retail around the $250 US mark, while the Ryzen 3 5300G would target the $150 US price range. The Ryzen 3 5300G ES was tested a while back, while the previous generation AMD Ryzen 4000G Renoir APUs showcased some impressive memory overclocking capabilities, and one can expect the same from the upcoming Seizan APUs, which are going to be available in the mainstream segment with proper channel availability, unlike the Ryzen Pro 4000G APUs. Now, another thing I want to touch on with these particular APUs right now is that they are going to be quite valuable to system builders like or even custom builders, DIY enthusiasts, provided AMD doesn't neuter the bandwidth or really the PCIe lanes and that. I mean, they, these already have a good bit of cash on them, so they're not like previous ones where you got just a little bitty chunk of cash compared to the full desktop variants. But one of the problems in the past, if you built with them, was you were limited to eight lanes of PCI Express, uh, you know, for your graphics cards and your storage drives. Whereas these, my understanding is, you shouldn't have that limitation, which would be great because now you can build out a system with a high speed SSD or NVMe drive. And well, if you don't have a GPU ready to go, you could at least have something that is doable. So if you're building a 1440p system, you could run your games for now at 720p, use uh, integer scaling to have it nice and crispy. It won't look as good as 1440p by a long shot, but you may be able to play some games while you wait for graphics cards availability to improve over the next decade, I guess. It seems like it's taking that long. All right, guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you liked what you saw here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there hit the bell notification so that we don't miss you in the future. And if you want to catch out something you may have missed, hit up the links over here on this side. And we'll catch you in the next one.